You are looking live right now at Kyiv where it is about midnight. For the first time in several days, the lockdown lifted, allowing residents into the streets to get supplies and groceries. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is keeping a close eye on developments. A lot has happened in the last few hours, Marissa. Yeah, that's right, Jim. The lockdown in Kyiv has been lifted, but still a warning tonight to neighbors there from Ukrainian leaders only leave your house if absolutely necessary. This as major explosions, maybe the biggest we've seen yet continue on the streets of Kyiv into the night. But today, Russian President Vladimir Putin told French President Emmanuel Macron he will stop strikes against civilians. This as the first meeting between Russia and Ukraine ends with no agreement on a ceasefire. <laughs> Waiting, fearing, and praying inside a dingy hospital basement in Kyiv. Here, moms and their babies find what comfort they can on makeshift beds, all adjusting to life under siege. So far, four kids here have been treated for shrapnel and bullet wounds, victims of the battle on the capital grounds. We have a lot of patients. We cannot move, move them to another hospital. It's, it's very hard. Outmanned Ukrainian forces managed to slow the Russian advance as Western sanctions started a squeeze on their economy. But Russian President Vladimir Putin raised alarms when he put his country's nuclear weapons on high alert. Ukrainian and Russian delegations met on Ukraine's border with Belarus Monday. The first direct talk since the invasion began. The meeting, with hopes of stopping the fighting, ended with no immediate agreement. The United Nations General Assembly opened an emergency session with pleas for peace, as more than a half million people have fled the country so far since this invasion. It took us like three days to actually get to the border point, but we finally managed to get here, and we are very grateful to the Republic of Romania for accepting us. People, everybody are scared about what's happened and they're waiting what will be. Well, the civilian death toll from the war in Ukraine is above 100 now, including several children. And when it comes to sanctions, the ruble's value has fallen 30% against the dollar in trading. Marie? Marissa, thank you so much.